Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to quickly look at how you can manipulate elements in PSIM. Um, so there's a couple things that one can do. So if you're grabbing elements from the menu, so say we just want to grab something here, let's grab a MOSFET, place it down. I can drag and drop and place it down, or I can also drag, uh, click from the bottom toolbar and put things down over here as well. Um, when I'm placing an element, I can right click and spin it. You see that? And after I've placed it, um, if I want to change it or translate it, I can flip it or rotate it and things like that up from up there. Um, additionally, when you're placing elements, you can assign elements to hotkeys. So I'm going to click uh, R to get a resistor, I for an inductor, C for a capacitor, uh, M for a MOSFET, you know, whatever these keys are, um, they can be assigned up here in Customize Keyboard. So go in here and, and you can assign whatever you want for whichever key. Um, I would recommend also commands. You can assign commands as well. I would recommend that you only add a few at a time. Um, <clears throat> what else can we look at here quickly? Oh, so if you click and drag an element, you see how I've got the traces traveling along with? That setting is in uh, settings, and that is the rubber band. Also here is where you can display the grid and pinch page border. So I don't like the, the grid and the page border, so I have them turned off typically. So back to settings, grid, page border. So that rubber band. So when the rubber band isn't enabled, this element will drag. When I click and drag, it won't pull the bands with me. Now, I can get that rubber band action if I hold the shift key and move it around. So that's without the shift key. And then with the shift key, those, those move. Um, if I go back and enable the rubber band again, that means when I move this around, they, they travel again. And then when I hold the shift key, that pulls out. So typically, I find that it's I, I prefer to have the, um, the drag as the default. And then when I don't want it, I just hold shift and I pull it out. So shift and pull it out. Um, next thing I can do is um, enabling and disabling elements. So say I wanted to have, ooh, let's get rid of this. So say I've got uh, two loads here, and I want to you know, change whatever way I'm running the simulation. I can just enable and disable these things. So I'll zoom in here so you can see, see how it's grayed out. So if I click and go Control-E, it enables it. Uh, Control-D disables. Um, and I can enable and disable whole sections of a circuit if I want to. Uh, and that's also with this check mark and X up here. OK, um, what other things? Uh, talking about manipulation of elements. Uh, so we talked about um, dragging from the toolbar here. I can also search, so say, like space vector. So there's the space vector block. I can place that down. Uh, once it's placed, uh, rotating it and flipping it as these things up here, you can also hotkey those commands. Uh, and then the shift having the uh, rubber band enabled so that you can drag this around or holding shift to do the opposite. Uh, and then also grabbing from the, you know, when you have an element on your cursor, you can rotate it by right clicking and then obviously escaping clears that element. Uh, that's it for this tutorial video. Uh, hopefully that was a quick uh, overview of how you can adjust and manipulate components inside of PSIM. Thanks so much for watching. Check back again for more videos.